evening, good evening, good evening. This is Marie Holiday, and today is Monday, November the 23rd, 2020. And I hope everybody had a fabulous day today. And uh, before we get started, I just want to remind my viewers and my subscribers and potential subscribers, just if you have not hit that subscribe button or notification button, please do so. And also pass this valuable information along to someone who can probably benefit from it or may need to hear uh, these various and different topics. And I do want to thank all of my subscribers and viewers. Uh, I really do want to thank you about for blocking out time out of your day, your life, to view these video channels, to view this, these video uploads that I do. Uh, to share this information to anybody who's receptive to receive it. So with that being said, let's get on down to the next topic. Uh, I want to talk about the pitfalls of the gig society. The pitfalls of the gig society. You know, before I get started, I do want to just share with the audience, check out a prior video upload ideas um, some weeks ago on uh, be aware of the gig society. This is a caveat to that upload. So I want to talk about the pitfalls of the gig society. First of all, contract gig workers are not legally classified as employees. So their employers do not withhold income types or social security taxes from the paycheck. So that is critical. That is a major number one pitfall. Contract gig workers are not legally classified as employees. So their employers on whoever they got that contract with do not withhold income tax or social security taxes from their paychecks. So for example, the individual, this is a number pitfall number two, the individual must make sure you pay taxes of the income earned and pay into your social security. If not, what will happen is you can potentially create financial destruction for yourself by running into, into major problems of potentially owing the internal revenue service. And that is a serious pitfall that you can probably potentially run into owing the internal revenue services for those taxes that were not withheld by the employer who you got that contract with. So pay attention to that. Another pitfall is... If you do not pay into Social Security, because remember, that employer you got the contract with, they're not paying into your Social Security. So if you do not pay into Social Security, when you reach retirement age, you will not have Social Security at all. You know, to me, I look at Social Security, it really should be a supplement because if you're wise with your money, you should also be investing into a re other retirement accounts, individual retirement accounts, 401, and investing your money that way. But that Social Security is still better than nothing. So if you don't pay into your Social Security as a gig worker, when you reach retirement age, you will not have Social Security. And believe it or not, there are a lot of people who are retired who are highly dependent on their Social Security. Another pitfall about this gig society, and you know, I've always enjoyed talking about this particular topic because society seems to glorify the gig society. Another pitfall of, of this gig society if you're getting these different gigs and getting these different contracts, is that it can create economic insecurity, meaning the person is always chasing the next gig. They're always 
chasing the next gig. Because when one particular gig or that contract run out, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, okay, I better hurry up and get me another gig because I got bills to pay. I got rent to pay, mortgage to pay, car note, car insurance, get, take care of my kids. So you're always chasing the next gig. Another major critical pitfall about this gig society is that the individual is going to have to pay into and purchase their own medical insurance, life insurance, dental insurance for you and your family. And that can be very, very, very expensive. So if you are got contracts and gigs, you're going to have to pay into your own medical insurance, life insurance, dental insurance for yourself and your family. Because if you had a full-time job with a company or uh, really good companies that, that, that people work for full-time, they'll pay a big proportion of the medical insurance, life insurance, dental insurance, and you get a discount. Uh, uh, it's, it's not as expensive even when you ask your family own versus if you were just do paying for it out of your pocket. Another pitfall of this gig society when you out here getting these different contracts and, and getting these gigs is there's no earned vacation days or sick days. Meaning if you don't work that gig, you don't get paid. And even if you do work or whoever you got their contract will, you're not earning any vacation time. You're not earning any sick time. So bottom line, if you ain't working, you ain't getting paid versus when you work for a company, uh, just like I, I'm, I work for the state, uh, so I'm earning vacation time, sick time, I'm building all that time on the books. I'm off all major holidays and I'm still getting paid. So the solution to if you want to decide to survive in this gig society, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with, with getting contracts and getting different gigs and having multiple screens of income. Because although I may have a state job, you know, I have multiple screens of income. But but if you don't have a primary full-time day job or a primary job somewhere that where you're not getting all of these benefits, you know, medical insurance, life insurance, dental insurance, insurance for your family, uh, or retirement, 401, and all of that, sick time, vacation time. So if you're not linked with a primary job somewhere, I'm not saying that it's anything wrong with having gigs and different contracts. What I'm saying is make sure you are wise enough if you're making all of this money from all of these gigs. Please be wise enough to pay your Pay Uncle Sam, pay, pay, pay your taxes, to pay into your Social Security. Please be wise enough to purchase your own medical insurance, life insurance, dental insurance for yourself and your family. Please be wise enough to invest in individual retirement accounts, 401s. Have your money invested in those type of accounts. So when you do retire, you will still have a, a retirement check from your investments you are your social security check because you you've been paying into social security so you got to be business wise while you're making all these monies on all of these, these gigs you know each individual got to decide on what type of balance they're going to strike you know there are some people who have a primary job but still may have a couple other streams of income over here from a couple of gigs that's fine you know if a person want to select to have contracts and multiple gigs and not be linked to a, a full-time employer that's fine too but as long as you're being wise with your money you're investing your money into retirement in four ones and you're purchasing your insurance in all areas your medical life your dental on yourself and your family make sure you're paying into social security and you're paying your or your, your or uncle sam your internal or your income tax so with that being said, audience, this is the topic that I've been wanting to revisit because it's a very important topic. Uh, uh, and with that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification button and simplify, simple fidelis. And I will see the audience again next time. Have a great evening.